The second part of this presentation has to do with what Dr. Glassy asked me to say about uh, the micromegakaryocytic series, of which I added a few pictures uh, in this new book. He was particularly interested that I should say something about the micromegakaryocytic maturation. Now this is something that many people uh, more or less ignore and call everything a microbacteriocyte, which falls into that general category. That's fair enough, it doesn't do any harm. But for, when uh, he wanted me to pass along the, what appeared to him to be an eminently logical uh, discussion of the evolution of the microbacteriocyte. What does it come from? Where does it start? Now we were taught, by, I was taught by Brunning and Sundberg, that the way it begins is actually, as most other cell series begin, is with a micromegakaryoblast, which is a small megakaryocyte which has no evidence of platelet differentiation whatsoever. It may have a few buds on the surface, as many megakaryocytes can have, but the cytoplasm is um, blue-gray, but no signs of any azure granulation that would suggest platelet differentiation. Rather a small cell. That would be a micromegakaryoblast. You don't see them very often unless you have a, a raging case of primary myelofibrosis. Then you can see an occasional microbacterioblast. More frequently, we see the next stage of development, which is a pro-micromegakaryocyte. The pro micro promegakaryocyte is a cell with a nucleus uh, and cytoplasm, and uh, the most important part of the cytoplasm is the fact that part of the otherwise undeveloped cytoplasm is showing platelet differentiation around the nucleus, closely applied to the nucleus. The remainder of the cytoplasm is uh, a very light shade of uh, blue, but featureless. It has yet to undergo platelet differentiation, which appears in the form of multiple tiny azure granules close to the nucleus. That would be a pro microbacteriocyte And you are seeing that now as, as I'm talking. The third and final step is the one with which we're most familiar, which is the micromegakaryocyte. In that cell, it's a small megakaryocyte in which platelet, differential, platelet differentiation is entirely circumferential or bipolar. Any cytoplasm that is present is filled with azure granules, which are the platelets, the developing platelets. And that is all there is to say about that. Now, from a practical standpoint, probably doesn't matter so long as this series or a member of the series is developed, is uh, recognized and uh, annotated. But there's a certain logic to looking at the cells and seeing if platelet differentiation has yet begun, or if it has, is it partial or is it complete? That's all there's to it. So there's no big deal about that.